pre-cooked ribs here from Nelson's Meats. Gonna wrap them in tin foil. You know, you make the little bag seam like that to make it stay closed. You don't want to come over the top with it because you don't want to make the tin foil thicker in any spot if you can help it. John's feeding the fire, and we're just gonna drop this on the grill. And there we go. We got our we got our ribs. Hashtag Nelson's Meats. We got some stuffing under there. We're gonna sit down and enjoy it by the fire. It's delicious. So the uh, owl started up, uh, which let us know it's time to go to sleep. It's getting chilly out. We've been staring at the stars for a while. The fire's died down. Got everything put away, so we're going to hit the sack, literally. And punch it. <laughs> punch it. Beat it up. Night, guys. Night. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we're here splitting some wood, cutting some wood, then we'll be splitting it, getting the fire going for our breakfast of steak and eggs. Then we're gonna go venture out and hit another river. We're going to the Pier Marquette River today. Hopefully we see more fish than we did yesterday. Oh yeah, either way it'll be a good time. It's a great day, gorgeous out. Oh, it's the nicest morning we've had, I think. Yeah, Kara's enjoying it. Yes, she is. Morning, guys. Morning. So we got our fire going and our cast iron cleaned out and ready to go and now we're just gonna cook up some extra thick cut hickory smoked bacon. Can you give me my spatula? True, you can't cook a pound and a half of bacon in all, all in one pan at once. It won't fit. Maybe if you're one of those city folk who needs straight bacon. So bacon's done, got the pan all good and prepped now. Cause all we really want is that beautiful bacon grease. for these two beautiful ribeyes. Everyone loves a breakfast steak. Check out those beautiful steaks. They're all done now. And they've got to sit and rest so the juices can soak back in. And while they rest, eggs. Might as well get all that beef and bacon grease in there, right? That's breakfast, folks. Steak, eggs, bacon. Kara's excited. John looks excited too. Oh yeah. We're gonna eat ourselves a good breakfast and then uh, head for the river. Oh, we're just checking out some of the access points on the Pier Marquette River. This is the Indian Bridge River access. Defamed Indian Bridge, but uh, it's really washed out right now and real mucky and silty and slow and I don't think we're gonna find any spawning steelhead here. So we're gonna go farther up river. We've come to another bridge right on the edge of National Forest land, as in there's houses on one side of the river and National Forest trees on the other. Uh, it has some good bank fishing. We don't know how weightable it is. Yeah, but we can't access the other side. That is correct. But we're following this footpath to find out. Uh, we're trying to find a place we can both successfully fish at the same time and hopefully bring Kara out too. The river is just too deep and wide and true. It is. I think everyone fishing it must have boats or floats. We're gonna have to go way upriver to find something we can wade and fish from the bank. So, woof. So after checking many places, we decided upon the Sulak Bridge. John's just getting his stuff ready to go. Kara's having herself a good snoof around. Gear out and ready for our hike down the Fisherman Trail. 
Uh, so at the uh, cars, there's a little trail, the Fisherman's Trail. Uh, and it's pretty much just a path into the woods that takes you right to the river. Pretty short, nice little walk. Might not be so nice coming back up this hill, but uh, we're here. we has got a couple casts in already. Kara's loving this spot, so I think this is where we're going to go. I found a spot I think I can wade in just a little bit upstream and or downstream, so we're going to give it a shot. And now watch the mighty angler get in the river with the grace of a messed up panda. Ugh. You know, in wasn't too bad, John. You know what's going to really suck? Getting out. Uh, you know what I forgot, John? My thermals. Get back here. Where are you going? No. You don't get to get in the river. Please don't get in the river. Get back up there. Go see John. Because there's not a lot of shit in the way, so I'm just stripping out hundreds of feet of line and letting it go down river. And then reeling it in, basically, and plopping it out as far as I can get it. I want to get out for a second. Assuming I can get out. I think I can use these trees like a ladder. Oh, ho, ho. You don't realize how cold your testicles are until the blood comes back. What the hell are you caught on? You're way down there. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I went to the next curve. Thank you. You're welcome. That was a good one. Well, we've been fishing this access point for a couple hours and haven't seen much, you know, up and down the river. So, probably gonna move down the river to the to the other bridge access point. Check it out. Tip a few lines. Yeah, it's maybe get, see something. It's getting a little late in the day, but you know, we're gonna give it another shot. Oh, it appears this access point is a turkey crossing. So today we checked the upper branch, the lower branch, the salk, something like that. Sure, of the Pier Marquette. Of the Pier Marquette. Yeah, the other ones, what we really learned is the same thing we learned fishing last year, which was the access, you know, the access we need is gonna be by boat. But we got the canoe now. Just gotta get better right. just gotta get better canoeing. So we're gonna go home and canoe. We're gonna go back to camp and canoe. Pretty glad we got off the river when we did. There's a big storm front coming through and we started to feel the trickle of rain anyway. But uh so yeah, we're gonna build a little fire, maybe get a little more firewood. While well, Kara finishes off cleaning our dishes and then get some dinner going. If it doesn't rain, we might take the canoe out on the little lake here. Yeah, as long as the rain holds out, we might take the canoe out, work on our canoe skills a little bit, try, let John try out my new canoe. You know, but first, since there's the threat of rain, we figured we might as well get wood while we can while it's not raining. So we're just canoeing along. Foot loose and fancy free. Crossing the little swamp that's not gonna be a swamp in a month. It's a little tippier with uh, two big guys in the canoe than just the one. But uh, I'm enjoying it. Having us a little nighttime canoe. We gotta beat ourselves over here. I'll call that beached. So John and I are just finishing up our evening canoe. 
our paddle. Uh, we're gonna go back and start prepping dinner soon. Uh, charge the batteries and stuff, man. It's a great last night here. I'm glad the rain didn't hit. Gonna have like some stir fry. John's gonna start us a fire. I'm gonna prep us some veggies and meat. And yeah. Oh, you already have a freaking fire going. Look at you. Pretty particular about getting all my crap out of a pepper. Vegetables are chopped and the fire's going. Usually we're lard people, but butter was a lot easier to get and it's still cold enough that, you know, it keeps. We've got our meat, it's in a bag. Because we were letting it season. We're gonna let it get a good sear. And then we'll probably put the veggies in there. Give it a little sauce with our, in our stir fry, because we don't actually have any stir fry sauce, and there's not enough A1 left in that bottle to keep it. So that's the A1 and butter sauce. That's our garlic and peppers and red onion. And that butter. Just gonna give them a little, a little goose, goose around. I'm gonna let them sit there for a while and cook up. Yeah, peppers and onions have softened up a bit. That's good. We're gonna pull that off the fire somehow and uh, get some bowls out and start eating. So that's what we're working with. Just a couple slices of bread in the bottom of the bowl with our stir fry. You can see John loading up back there. Oh yeah. We're gonna sit down and eat for a bit. We're letting the fire die out on this, our last night in Nordhaus Dunes. Surprisingly nice out still. It is very nice. When there's no wind blowing at all, it's like 50, it feels like. It feels real warm. Oh yeah. But we're just letting our fire die down. We're just kind of burning the last of the logs. And then we're going to go saw some logs. Kara's ready for bed. She's letting me know. And there are bugs now because it's warm, so I can't just let her in and out of the tent or she'd already be in there laying down. Bug. Uh. Oh, it's the season for bugs. The bugs are back, guys. Mark your calendars. First week of April. So, yeah. Night, guys. Oh, good morning. Kara's just doing her part to leave no trace. She's picked up somebody else's trash in the woods. John and I are just uh, getting moving around, getting some clothes on, getting dressed. I might uh, go for a quick little paddle. Uh, it's just protein bars and protein shakes for breakfast. No cast iron cooking today, but uh, the lake's looking nice. The weather's great. Just saying, a little paddle's a great way to start the day. Get the blood flowing. John and Kara having a good time on the shore. Uh, I'm just gonna paddle around for a while and then we're gonna go back, eat a protein bar and pack up camp. John decided he'd like to take himself a nice little morning paddle. Kara's having herself a morning play in the water. Oh no, a frog! Come here. Oh, you keep going in. Yeah, yeah come here. <laughs> and John returns. How was it? It was fantastic. Great. Well, it's been a good week in Nordhaus, but now we play the cleanup song. And everything goes fast.
All right, guys, so this is our video. Uh, Nordhaus Dunes Wilderness Area at the Manistee National Forest, or in the Manistee National Forest. Uh, if you liked it please, give it, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Help us out. Uh, even if you didn't, leave a comment, let us know. Uh, we actually had a lot of fun here, even though we didn't catch any fish. It was still a good time. Uh, I'm excited to actually get back into the warm weather camping. Uh, so this was a nice transition from all of our winter stuff to what hopefully is going to be a great summer season for us. Uh, thanks for watching and keep watching. Perfect.